What's going on, Bears fans? I'm back for the third time today. We got another update. The Bears have made a considerable sign, and we'll talk about all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, Bears fans. So, yeah, and this is not at all to toot my own horn, but I did do a video about a month ago on possible offensive linemen that the Bears could bring in to training camp to make this battle a little bit more interesting on the offensive line. But guess what? The Chicago Bears have went out and got one of the best free agents still remaining, a really solid offensive tackle in Riley Reef. Uh, they signed him for a one year, uh, up to $12.5 million with about $10 million guaranteed on that deal. Again, another prove it, a one year deal, no long term money for the Chicago Bears in this. And that's something that we expected, right? We know that their Bears aren't going to contribute a lot of long term money at any point right now, unless it needs to be Roquan Smith. Again, pay that man. But with that being said, Riley Reef does come in. He helps shore up that offensive line. He's a starter caliber. Um, uh, offensive lineman. Now we'll see how much of a high end lineman he is for that, but he's going to definitely come in at that offensive tackle position. This makes it more interesting for players like Larry Borm and, and Tevin Jenkins to see what happens there with that position battle. But Riley Reeve comes in. He's definitely going to push um that that uh the, the competition there if he's not the outright starter. But what we've seen, and this is one of the things I, it had been very quiet with the Chicago Bears on what they had planned on doing with that offensive line. And I had speculated that maybe the Bears were very confident in that offensive line. Well, we're seeing this now with two signings just in the last week or so that the Bears are now coming in to shore up that offensive line a little bit more, make that a little bit more, more interesting to, to keep Justin Fields safe. And that's the biggest thing in this, right? So to talk about Reef, in last season specifically, he allowed for four sacks, only one penalty, and 711 snaps last season. So again, that's not bad, especially for a player coming into their 11th season in the NFL. He's a former 23rd overall selection in the 2012 draft. Again, not somebody long-term, right? But when you look at a season coming in that's a big season for Justin Fields and his development, you want to be able to keep Justin Fields off his back and off the ground as much as possible. So guess what? Now we have Reef, who uh, is probably going to come in, be the starting tackle, one of those starting tackles. It makes that position battle a little bit more interesting in that he did not get to he did not get to participate in the Super Bowl run last season. He did have a season-ending end ankle injury in Week 14 last year for the Cincinnati Bengals. But this is a player who, while maybe not as good as he once was, is still a damn good offensive lineman that could come in, keep help, help keep Justin Fields safe, and. The, shout out to Ryan Poles. Ryan Poles, again, is doing the calculated risk and, and, and bringing in players that at least for one season are going to help as they look towards more long-term uh, fixes here at several positions for the Chicago Bears. Love this signing by Ryan Poles. Again, three, good, three pieces of good news in a row between Brisker, uh, Robert Quinn reporting, and now this signing by, of Riley Reef. We still need to see something from Roquan Smith pay that man but at least for right now i will say that this is a much needed signing for the chicago bears and a good one that shows that ryan pose is committed to at, at, at least this season with short-term deals still putting the best team out there possible adding players to this team to help this team continue to develop justin fields to develop the run game things like that the the shoring up that offensive line getting better players on that that can fit in in that starting lineup are going to do nothing but bode well for everybody on this team as we look for Darnell Mooney, Velius Jones, By Byron Pringle, uh, uh, Khalil Herbert, David Montgomery, uh, Cole Komet, everyone to really be able to step up and take a leap. That offensive line has to be a little bit more solid to do that and to get, to get those things out of those players. So shout out to Ryan Poles for continually improving this team, making the right decisions, coming a little bit later, right, right before training camp, but making the right decisions that show he is committed to keeping Justin Fields safe and to putting better things around him. Let me know what you guys think down below on this signing for the Chicago Bears and what do you think this does for that tackle battle? Larry Borm, Tevin Jenkins, who gets that other position? Let me know everything down below with that. I appreciate you guys so much again for the third time today. Make sure you're following the show at Shy Bears Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bears Central at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave us a text, and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the one, number one spot for everything Chicago, Bull, Chicago, Chicago Bears related. I appreciate you guys so much. Bear down.
Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.